Shave and a Haircut in the Lesson Book is a really fun piece of music to play, but there are a few traps that people fall into when they try to play it. So the first trap that we fall that we come to is this right here. These are intervals of a sixth. So just be careful to play that interval and not the fifth that you're kind of used to playing. We've been studying sixths, and so here they are in this piece of music. When you get to this right here, this is a sixth, but this is a fourth because the bottom note moves up and the top note moves down. And so just be really careful with that. The next trap that people fall into is this line right here because this is just kind of some really strange stuff. So you're going to have three on A, two on the black key between G and A, and then one on G. When you get to here, same note. Remember the rule of flats, it says that once an A is flat at the beginning of the measure, it's going to stay flat through the rest of the measure. They put the natural sign here just kind of to remind you that that's not flat because there hasn't been a flat yet in the measure. Here is the flat. When you get to here, the same thing, the exact same pattern, the exact same fingering, except you're going to be moving to a different part of the keyboard. Here, this is another place that people have trouble with because you have to put one on G, two on the black key right above G, and then three on A. Down here, be really careful with these rests because the rhythm does not do what we expect it to do. One other thing that we should talk about is what happens with this repeat. So you're going to play this. When you get to this repeat sign, you are going to go back to this part of the music and play from this forward repeat sign. Play, 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 and then when you get here, hop over the first ending and play through the second ending and then keep going and then you're done.